Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4, episode 136, I believe. Now, hope you guys enjoy. We just got done talking to Virgil. And we have to go all the way to... The Minutemen. And talk to them. See you guys there. Back hurts, my feet hurt. Okay, let's take our helmet off. Everything hurts. Take all our scrap out. Scrap's already out. Yeah. What? Back to Preston Garvey. You know what I call it. <laughs> what do you stomach. need, General? Signal interceptor. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? My son. They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing... What exactly does it do? Teleportation. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tells of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. Sturgis! <laughs> There he is. Hey. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you, Here go. you go. Wow. What a mess. Oh. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? For real. It's real. I got it from an ex-institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Uh, get started? Just tell me what we need so I can get started. Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Okay. Not going to build it here. Build it. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think where I should put it.
somewhere. Right here in the corner. Talk to Sturgis. Hey Sturgis. Come on, buddy, get up. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building side and see if we can actually make this thing work. Alright, let's see if we can... Finish everything Thanks, else. Thanks, sir. Just, I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Alrighty. This is pretty far away from everything, but... Trying to make this as small as possible. Okay, now we need power. How much power do we need? So ten. I need more, but see. Make sure we've got enough power.
This isn't going to do anything without power. We need one more. got everything in place. We'll have to hook it all up to the same power grid. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Ready. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then... I fire her up, and we see what happens. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. On the platform. Locked in. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, this, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And me out. Got it. Hold on to your butt. Whoa. Well, he said we were testing it. Guess we're not testing it. View logs. Load all of tape. Network scanner. Let's press into that. There we go. Downloading. Downloading complete. Now do we just do this? I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. 
For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. No use. Sean? Huh? Yes, this is what he's supposed to look like if you don't mess with your character. Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. I'm your dad. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad. Dad is here. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! It'll be okay. Shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Talk to me. Please, Sean! I'm your father! Talk to me! Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Help me understand. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers, and answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Is it really you? It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It's... it wasn't right. <laughs> It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, 
The Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. They needed spectums? So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Um... It's really you? Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Instant. Let's do... Kellogg. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Um, let's just do heard enough. I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Last playthrough. I Your presence did all would the be answers. appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? No. Nope. I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Disagree. Your Institute has done some horrible things. <sighs> yes, well. The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. 
Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Nope. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I'm sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. We're not going to do what he asked, and... John terminal password. See you guys in a minute. We got locked out of the Institute, so I'm gonna try to go on his side and say, hey, you know, um, I'm gonna help you out. So, you know, can you, you know, so we can actually, you know, go into the Institute without being hostile because there is a, um, book in here that I want to get. So that would help us out, so see you guys in a minute. So we're going to take the chance right. and say Thank yes. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. We Dr. will next Philbar episode. Dr. facilities. Dr. A.O. in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Alrighty, guys, this will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you guys comment your name, I will see if I can find a way on to put you guys' name at the end of the episode, saying that you guys have joined my channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.